face shells. Do you actually need a face shell for your Spider-Man cosplay? In this video, I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on it and the reasons why, as well as share a little secret with you that no one else is talking about. Psst, make sure to subscribe for even more content that'll help you cosplay like a boss. Hi, I'm Skylar Osler, and for five years, I've been showing people how easy it can be to make costumes and props. In today's video, I want to let you in on some secrets about face shells. Have you ever cosplayed Spider-Man or Deadpool or other spandexed superheroes before? Let me know, yes or no, down in the comments. Face shells are a great way to up your cosplay game with these specific characters, but they can be quite pricey. So it begs the question, do you actually need one or can you just do without? I'm gonna get right to it and tell you that I think face shells are the way to go to get the most accurate looking Spider-Man cosplay. Now that may not be the answer you wanted to hear, but don't leave because I'm gonna tell you why and give you a little secret trick that will help you to get a great Spider-Man face shell at a fraction of the cost. So despite there being some benefits to going commando, or that is no face shell, such as good airflow, uh, easier to take on and off, less fogging, and being much cheaper, it's nearly impossible to get the actual head shape of a Spider-Man or a Deadpool under a spandex mask. We all have different head sizes and shapes, and you can see mine is particularly troublesome because of this long nose of mine. Now a face shell helps smooth everything out and allows anyone to take on that head shape of that character. Even in feature films, they use the face shells to get that Spider-Man look, and they'll use it for every scene unless it's a scene where the actor actually needs to take off the mask in the shot. So if you want that spot on look from the movies or the games or the cartoons, then a face shell is the way to go. All right, so that being said, let's talk about the number one drawback to having to have a face shell for your Spider-Man cosplay. And that is, of course, the price. If you do a quick Google search and you start looking at the prices of face shells, you can see they start at around 50 bucks and go up from there, all the way up to 150 plus. Now, there are some great makers out there and some really good face shells. If you have the money, go for it, it's worth it. But if you're just getting started cosplaying, or you don't have that kind of cash, then you could feel like you're just out of luck and you'll just have to go without. But I figured out a way that you can make your own face shell that'll look great, it's easy to make, and it's inexpensive. In fact, it's so cheap and easy to do, I can't believe that no one else is talking about it, but I wanna share it with you right now. So if you're ready for a bombshell, hurry and hit that like button. All right, the secret is craft foam, AKA EVA foam, but not just any EVA foam. In order to work for a face shell, it has to be thin, but also hold its shape really well and not tear easily. And I've actually come up with a specially formulated version of craft foam designed specifically for cosplay called What The Foam. And it turns out my four millimeter thickness is actually perfect for face shells. I know, because I did it. And I'm making the pattern available to everyone so that you can do it too. So I have a full video on how to make it that you can check out right here. But basically you get the pattern you trace it onto the what the foam, cut it out with an X-Acto knife, drill a few holes, heat it up and glue it together, and voila, you have a face shell that's gonna help you cosplay Spider-Man like a boss. So as for cost, you buy the pack of four millimeter what the foam for $37, but it comes with seven sheets and you'll only need one for your Spider-Man face shell. So it's around $5 in foam, and you'll have a bunch left over that you can use for other cool projects like these. And then if you get my pattern to make it even easier, it's only $3.99, so you add that to the $5 of foam and you come out to only about $9 to $10 for your awesome Spider-Man face shell. Isn't that awesome compared to 50 or 150? It's huge! And I'll probably even do a video in the future showing how you can add magnets to it so it works just like the fancy ones. To review, I strongly recommend using a face shell when cosplaying a Spider-Man or a Deadpool or any other character like that. And now you know a secret that'll save you a ton of money and get you a great face shell. So first thing I want you to do is share this video so we can get this secret out there and help other people up their cosplay game as well. Then I want you to go to the links down in the description and get yourself the foam and the pattern that you need to make your own face shell. Thank you so much for subscribing and make sure to check out this video over here on how to make your own Spider-Man face shell. What? Card full?